Hi, I'm Maggie Corbett and welcome to The Club. Today, I got the chance to speak with Sophia Burdell and Alice Francis from the Yellow Jacket Roller Derby. First, here's Sophia. The premise of roller derby is it's played on an elliptical track. It's a full body contact sport and so there's two teams. So on each team you can roster 15 people but only five people are on the track at once. So of each five, there's only one person that can score points and they are called the jammer. Everyone else is considered a blocker. So the jammer tries to pass members of the opposing team around the track and every time they pass a, a member of the opposing team, they get a point. And so you're trying to block the opposing jammer while helping your jammer through the pack. The nature of the sport, it doesn't matter your body type, your gender, how you look, what your style is, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a good attitude, want to play the sport, it's, it's for you, you know? And I think that's why I really like it, is because you can, you can be whatever, but as long as we're playing together and have a good structure of the team, it's, I don't know, it's just a really special thing to me. So to get a roller derby name, you have to pass a minimum skills requirement outlined by our governing body, but once you pass that minimum skills, you can get a roller derby name. My name's Katie Scarlett. I love Gone with the Wind, and Katie Scarlett O'Hara is obviously the main character. I like a lot of her grit and gumption throughout the novel, and I feel like that's what I want to embody on the track. For the gear, um, we, we play on quad roller skates. So these are my quad roller skates. We also have um, wrist guards, uh, elbow pads, knee pads, and a helmet. And here's my helmet. And I have my um, I have my name, Skatey Scarlet, number 23, on there as well. So lots of gear to keep us safe. For us specifically, um, we do fall open enrollment, and we also do spring open enrollment. So it's usually at the beginning of the semester. Um, we have flyers around where our Facebook page has things, and so you get to try out skates, learn how to skate, and for us, you know, you can enter with no experience at all, and that's pretty cool. Um, so getting involved on campus is pretty easy, but there's a bunch of other leagues around that take varying levels of skills as well. Thank you, Sophia. Now, here's Alice. So we have two 30-minute halves that make up a bout, which is what we call a match and each of those halves is 30 minutes of gameplay time. So we do a succession of as many what we call jams as can fit in 30 minutes. Each jam can last up to two minutes. Two minutes is like the standard length, but if you are a jammer and you break through the pack before the other jammer, you are what's called the lead jammer, and that lead jammer can call off the jam at any time. So if they get tired, if they feel like their team is just um, not doing well in that jam, then they can do a signal like this where they touch their hips and then the ref calls off the jam. There's four blockers on the track at any given time and those four work together to block the jammer from the other team. And so if you, you can place three of those blockers in a tripod formation where two blockers are facing forward and skating forward and one blocker is facing backward and skating backwards. So you link shoulders, so the backwards facing skater will put their hand on the forward facing skater's shoulder and vice versa, and they will, the backwards facing skater will watch for the jammer and say, she's on the inside, she's on the outside, and then the whole tripod can move together. Um, and you can also rotate and swing your hips around to kind of block people on the inside or block people on the outside. So it's really dynamic, there's a lot of communication. It's really easy to feel part of a team when you're blocking because you're usually blocking um, with someone else, someone else's shoulders leaning against yours. So it's easy to kind of have that teamwork aspect which is something that I really, really enjoy. We've had a lot of like team bonding and social events which are something that personally I enjoy a lot more, um, but I've been really surprised by a lot of the athletic moments that I've had, um, just because I have never really gotten a lot of uh, like feelings of accomplishment from athletic situations or athletic events. But my first scrimmage that I went to, I was jamming for the first time and I got through the pack first before the other jammer. And when that happens, the ref points to you and says lead jammer. And it's just a very like, 
you know, it's a big moment and people clap and my team was there and oh my gosh, I'm getting a little emotional now thinking about it. But yeah, it was really awesome. I think that was the first time that I felt like I had an athletic team behind me while I was doing something individual.